Okay, we're right down the street from the office. So, uh, the customer has just bought the house, only lived here, hasn't really lived a full winter. They realized that they got some work to do. So, uh, their priorities was the siding and the porches. Um, after looking at it, the shingles are probably going to have to override the siding at least. Because if we do the siding and then the shingles are going to have to be done within the next couple of years, you just take the risk of damaging the siding. Plus with the shingles, one of the things that uh, I talked to them about, which they need to seriously consider, is extending overhangs on these eaves. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at working out on a couple options. The roof, uh, constructing the overhangs down at the eaves, all new gutters and obviously gutter helmet because it's, it's in need of it. Uh, the porches, reconstructed, uh, new pitch, there'll be a, a bituminous system, but uh, everything's going to be re redone. The, the porch is going to have to pretty much come out and be rebuilt. And we're going to get rid of the knee wall going around and provide a railing instead. So we're looking at all new decking, uh, paring it down. They want an option to come out another 19 feet out here so they can have a wraparound porch. I'd have to check with National Field and see what uh, what we can do about that meter. Okay. Um, and then another option is once we get the, uh, we'll do some core samples on the siding and see if we can get cellulose, if there's the ability to put cellulose insulation inside the walls uh, before the siding goes on. That makes sense. Uh, they're planning on staying a long time. We've got an old chimney out the back and I don't think there's anything that uh, that goes through it. Everything goes over to the one chimney on the other side so we could, it looks like we'll be able to bring that chimney right down. Um, so this roof line, the way, the way that this header and everything here sagged, we're gonna end up uh, reframing the whole roof line from the looks of it. And it has got a slight pitch to the side and uh, we, wanna, we wanna stick with that pitch. But everything got to be stripped, uh, evened out and reworked. And then we got to, uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to utilize that header or not. Uh, it looks like these posts were put here for a reason to handle some of the seamed wood that they had there. So uh, that's what uh, we're going to have to deal with. My battery's running low. This back room here I'm really concerned with here. Um, of course, obviously with the gutters, we're going to get all this water flowing the right way. But looking around this back room, uh, we're going to have to take this apron apart and see what we got going here. So um, I'm suspect that we're going to have some some issues where this is coming apart and this needs to be dressed up differently where the ground movement isn't going to tear apart the uh, the 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 job but uh, we'll plan on this siding this clapboard siding is going to end up having to come off because this is pulling away something's happening here so the clapboard is going to have to come off just on this area here and we can even it out fur it out to meet what we got there uh, but we're going to have to see what's behind there structurally and then things like where that upper downspout can deliver right directly on the roof into this lower gutter instead of having this this situation here and then the front will go to the front and then they're gonna have to deal with the windows shortly they got a bunch of windows uh, this chimney's operable so I think all of their they're gonna confirm that all of their uh, hot water and and uh, heater just goes through this chimney so we can omit the rest we're gonna get a whole bunch of uh, options worked out and uh, like I said, the porch is going to be pretty much a complete demo and rebuild on, on both porches. It, 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 it has to. Uh, there isn't even a big enough header here, I can tell looking up from the inside. Um, and this more than likely is not on a, any piers that are below the frost line. That's going to have to be accomplished. Okay, we already got overhangs at the peaks, but not at the eaves. So, we'll see how this, see how this transposes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>